Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Design with Ruzbe. Continuing with CSWA practice problems, today we'll work on question 4.2. Let's take a look at this question. So in this question, unit of measurement is millimeter gram second. Like always, we need to ensure we are using the same unit of measurement in SOLIDWORKS setting. This geometry, as you can see, is a symmetric geometry. And the way I prefer to model this geometry is that I want to focus on a front view. First, I want to make this 2D sketch, then I'm going to extrude it, and then I'm going to make the cutout that you see here in the bottom surface, this cutout, and finally, as a last step, I'm going to make these two cutouts on the top section. So with this introduction, Let's jump into SOLIDWORKS and start modeling this part. In SOLIDWORKS, first thing first, we need to check unit of measurement. And you can see we have millimeter gram second, which is a correct unit of measurement. Now, as I mentioned, I want to focus on a front view. So I click on the sketch, I click on the sketch command, and then here I'm going to choose front plane. Now, all I need to do is to make a 2D sketch. Because we are dealing with symmetric geometry, my preference is to always have some sort of symmetry line. This is just for reference. Now let's just start with the bottom circle. Click on circle command and you can see that in a bottom section of the geometry we have a hole. So let's make that circle first. The diameter of this circle should be 20 millimeters. Click on the smart dimension and then this should be 20. We also need another circle or arc shape. I prefer to use circle. Click on circle command and then here I'm going to make a circle. The distance between the edge of inner circle and outer circle should be 20 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension and this distance should be 20. Okay. We also need two lines attached to this outer circle. Because it's a symmetric geometry, I only focus on one line. So I click on line command and then I'm going to make a line here. You can see that the line is tangent to the circle, which is good. We know that the angle between this line and the other line on the other side should be 60 degrees. Because we are only modeling half of that, then this angle should be 30 degrees. So this is 30. We also need arc shape here. So I click on arc command and then here I'm going to make arc shape. Remember, when you use the arc shape, and this arc is basically like a fillet in a corner, we always need to add tangent relationship. So I click on the line, I hold control, click on the arc, and from the options, I'm going to choose tangent. Also, we know the radius of the arc. The radius, according to geometry, is 10 millimeter. So I click on a smart dimension, this should be 10 millimeter. We also need another circle on the top section. So I click here and make a circle. The radius of the circle is 10 millimeter or diameter is 20 millimeter. So I click on a smart dimension and this should be 20. The distance between the center point of this circle and the bottom circle is 100 millimeter. So this distance should be 100. Sorry, change it to 100. Okay. So now I have this. And I need another circle surrounding this one. So I click on circle command and then I'm going to have this circle. The radius of this circle is 25 millimeters. So I click on it. The diameter should be 50. 25 times 2, which is 50. Also, we need another arc shape attached to this circle right at this point. So I click on arc command and then here I'm going to make this arc shape. Okay. The radius of this arc should be 30 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension. This radius should be 30. And next, we need a line to connect this arc to this arc. Of course, this is not a good geometry because we know that if the line is connected to the arc, we need to have tangent relationship. So I click on the line, I click on this arc, and I choose tangent. I repeat the same thing. I click on the line, I click on the arc, and I choose tangent. So now you can see the arc shape. We also need to sign tangent relationship between the circle and the arc. So I click on it, and now this one is also tangent. 
The other important piece of information is that you can see that the angle between this line and the merit line should be 90 degree. If it is 90, half of that is 45 degrees. So I click on a smart dimension and the angle between this line and a symmetry line should be 45. And now you can see the geometry is fully defined. Everything is shown with a black color. Okay, awesome. So now we have everything. Let's use mirror command. From a sketch, I'm gonna click on mirror entities. And then here, entities to mirror, I want this arc, this line, this arc, and this line. And for mirror about, or the mirror line, I'm gonna choose this one. And now you can see the preview. Click on OK and we have our geometry. Okay, so now we need to extrude this geometry. The thickness that we need is 45 millimeters. So click on feature, click on extruded bus, and then here I'm gonna click on this, this one, this one, and this one. And because it's a symmetric geometry, I'm gonna change this one to mid plane. And then here I'm gonna have 45 millimeter. Click on okay, and this is our geometry. Okay, awesome. So now we have the geometry, it's time to make the cutouts that we want. The cutout, the first cutout that we want to make is here, on this side of the geometry. So let's click on a sketch, click on a sketch, and then here I click on this drop down menu and I choose right plane. Now we need a rectangle. So I'm going to make a rectangle like this, okay? We also need a symmetry line because this is a symmetric geometry. So I click on center line and then I'm gonna make this line, okay? First of all, this rectangle that I have, it should be positioned such that we have a symmetric cutout. So I click on this line, I hold control, click on a symmetry line, click on the other line. And from the relationships that you see here, I'm gonna choose symmetric. We know that the width of this geometry should be 25 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension and this should be 25. We know that the height of this geometry or cutout should be 92. So I click here, click on this surface and this should be 92, okay? And finally, we need 10 millimeter radius in a corners. So I click on fillet command sketch fillet, I have 10 millimeter, I select the corner, I select the corner, and I click on OK. So now you can see this is our geometry, click on OK, click on feature, and then click on extruded cut. We need this to be on both sides, so I change this one to through all both. Click on OK, and that's it. That's our cutout. Amazing. So now we have this cutout. It's time to make the cutout section on the upper part of the geometry. To do this, again, I click on a sketch, I click on a sketch, I click on drop down menu and choose right plane. Because it's a symmetric cutout, I'm gonna make one of them and then I'm gonna use mirror command to make the second one. So to do this, I click on line command and then here I'm gonna have a line. We also need the arc shape, so I click on the arc command, and then here, this is the arc, okay? First of all, the arc and the line, they should be tangent. So I click on a line, I click on an arc, and then I choose tangent. Next, we add the distance. From here to this wall should be 12 millimeter. The radius of the arc should be 25 millimeter. And finally, the distance between this top edge and the point is 65, okay? Now you can see that we have a fully defined geometry. Let's close this contour. Click on line command, and then here, go to left, go down, and this is our contour. Click on feature, click on extruded cut, and same as before, we choose through all both direction, click on okay, and that's it. Okay, so now we have this cutout it's time to make the cutout on the other side. And to do this, I'm gonna use mirror command. From feature tab, click on mirror command. Mirror face, I'm gonna choose front plane. Secondary mirror face, I don't need that. Click on feature to mirror, and I'm gonna choose cut extrude number two, which is the last 
operation we had. Now you can see the preview, click on OK, and that's it. So now we have the geometry made. Awesome. Last step is adding chamfer to the holes that we have here. To do this, click on chamfer command here. If you look at the drawing, we can see that we have 5 millimeter chamfer with 45 degree angle. So I'm going to change this one to 5. The angle is 45. All I need to do is choosing the corners. Click here, click the other side, click here, and finally click this side. Awesome. So now we have everything. Click on OK, and that's it. Okay. So that's the final geometry. Now it's time to check the total volume, make sure this is a correct geometry. If it's not, we have to find what's causing the issue, but let's go back to the question and find the total volume that we have in a question. In the question, you can see the total volume on this side. The total volume is 226,455 cubic millimeters. Let's go back to model that we have and check the total volume. In the model, in order to check the total volume, you can key, click on evaluate and then you can click on mass properties. And here you can see the total volume. The total volume that we have is 226,455 cubic millimeters. This is exactly the same as the answer shown in the question, which is showing us our model is correct and there's no problem with it. Okay. Awesome. I think that's it for today. And that's a wrap for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any question or feedback, please leave comments down below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruzbe. Hope to see you again soon in the next videos.